Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 3.7, Graphs with Three Parts to Their Domains. This is a great A video. I hope you enjoy it, and let us start. Okay, so someone might ask me why did I rate this video as A in self A star, because it's kind of complicated. But, if you think about it, it's not that difficult because you're essentially drawing different graphs uh, for different equation at different time of the graph. Uh, basically, for different x values, you have a s for a specific range of x, you have a specific uh, equation for it. And spotting sharp turns help you figure out where the boundaries are and you can find out which uh, kind of three parts is in that domain. Well, which three part of the domain is in that graph, rather. So, I have made one of these um, three part kind of drawing, and this is a really bad parabola, and I admit and I forgot to mark the zero zero again so it's right here thank you so what what should we do now uh, first of all notice the sharp turns given by um, let me mark it green this is one sharp turn this is one sharp turn we know that therefore this line as these two lines, these two x values are the boundaries. How, let us count out where they are. This is 0, 0. So negative 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, so this is negative 4. This is negative 2. This is 0. This is 2. This is negative 4. So this is a graph where we have from negative 4 to positive 4. Where about? So for let us do it step by step. Use your hand right now for me. Cover up the right hand side of the graph from the first green arrow to the right. Cover everything and just look at this uh, line. So this line is essentially uh, what we care about and we need to find the equation of this. Remember, this is uh, the zero point is still in the middle, but we can't see it right now if you are covering it. So, yeah, ignore everything else and focus on this line. This is negative four and zero, and this has a gradient of two because it goes up two and right one, and so this equation is two x then plus c, then we can use uh, filling in x and y to get that the c is actually 8. So we have the first equation, uh, 2x plus 8, and you can, un well, yeah, if you're just, un um, if you just covered the graph, then you can uh, see these. If you have covered every single thing on the screen other than those lines then you can uncover the right half and see the equation itself so we know that the equation is 2x plus 8 and we need to note what the x value is um, first of all I need to have an fx here what is the x value corresponding so the left most is here which is negative 4 the right most is and negative 2 so here is the domain negative 4 is smaller than or equal to uh, I forgot that uh, yeah so it's negative 4 smaller than equal to x smaller than equal to 0 and uh, not 0 and uh, negative 2 I can't speak today, sorry guys. Um, 
yeah so basically I need to add all the equal sign at the background so that you guys don't yell at me for doing it on the screen okay uh, they are terrible but yeah now I want you to use your left hand cover up the left side right hand cover up the right side and focus on this curve so what do you know about this curve is probably it looks like a parabola says because 0 squared is 0 1 squared is uh, negative 1 and positive 1 squared is 1 2 squared is 4 same as the other side so this is definitely a x squared graph what about the domain the domain is from this point onwards to this point which is from negative 2 to positive 2 and so it is noted like that. F now I want you to uh, uncover everything, cover up everything from this arrow leftwards and leave these two, uh, well, this line, this one line out. So now we need to find out the equation of this. We know that the equation of this uh, point is 2 and 4 and so same deal here the, equ uh, the gradient is negative x uh, negative 1 and therefore the y is equal to negative x plus c what is c we use this coordinate fill in x and y and you get c is positive 6 so the equation of that is 6 minus x or negative x plus 6 which uh, people argue that is uh, a pretty annoying way to uh, describe a graph and people sometimes don't understand what this is essentially it's just um, you flip those two around and this is at 6 and you won't be um, messed up anymore but it doesn't matter really then now for the domain, it's from this point onwards to the right until this point, which is from 2 to 4. And now we have 2 to 4. So yeah, that's it for describing a specific uh, three domain graph. So uh, I think the most important thing to note about this these kind of question is that people just mess themselves up because there are too ma too many things on the graph and you can't handle it. Don't worry, just cover up the parts that it's not needed and think about it. Then you will find out. Oh, it's actually just a straight line graph. And again, straight line graph. Are you crazy? Okay. Um. Yeah. That is basically it for this uh, chapter and there aren't much question that I can think about, it's just a lot, a lot of uh, graph making and just essentially you have to read a graph and say what they are. Also, um, so the important bits to know is actually um, to know the format of doing those kind of graph, uh, three domain graph. The format is fx is equal to, then you have an equation, equation one, um, then you have domain, okay. Then you have the same deal equation 2, then domain, and finally equation 3 and domain. I know this is a bit silly, but that is how you actually uh, present your answer for these kind of graphs. So, yeah, you have to learn this format which is kind of easy to remember really because it's just everything copy and paste um, repeatedly so 
that's it and that wraps up this video i hope you've learned something uh, and you enjoyed so if you did leave me a uh, comment uh, give me some likes and i will see you next time